I do care that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is completely fucking clueless when it comes to politics and is completely clueless when it comes to economics. She just got done proposing a 70% marginal tax rate on the upper income brackets. If you were, she's talking about, oh, the, the, the most, most topsy tops of the people that earn income, like 10 million or more, then we'll put this marginal rate on it. Okay. You do realize that would necessitate the creation of brackets for people that make less than 10 million a year. They would still be higher than any of the brackets that exist, right? It wouldn't cut off at what? What is it? 45 percent? Wow! Six hexenhammer, six six six. The the Satanist, the YouTube Satanist, the conservative Satanist had some bitter words to say about the gorgeous Alessandra Acacio Cortez from the Bronx. Where's she from? She's from upstate New York, right? It's fucking from, from money. So he's saying, wow, those are just fighting words, man. Fucking, she's the congresswoman now. She'll kick you, come down here and kick your ass. Fucking kick your, kick your white boy ass with your fucking hair and your glasses, man. Fucking ben, put a shirt on, Jago. So, so he said, and I quote, she's fucking completely clueless when it comes to politics and completely clueless when it comes to economics. Those are fighting words, right? Now, I beg to differ. This is no defense of Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez, right? It's not a defense of, but it does seem that a guy who does, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousand videos, right? Four videos a day commands an audience of 400,000 subscribers. Wow, fucking powerful man, right? He's reaching out to the YouTube community, man, but... But when there's, you know, this is bad. This is this is bad information. Mr. Cultist, uh, occultist, Satanist is is spooing in terms of the economy and business. And we're going to set the record straight right now. We're going to find out who Mr. Pagan, Cat's asshole, Atan, Anton Levon, Levon, Satanic Bible, Alistair Crowley, motherfucker. Who is this guy, right? Who is this guy? This fucking guy's telling he knows everything about the economy. Now, this is a very important subject because the, the nature of this subject, everything relies on on the subject of taxation. You heard what he said, right? He's talking He's talking about that uh, Sal uh, Sal Alessandra. Well, you know what? Before we do that, let's, let's find out. Let's find out more about the Satanist, right? Because... Where is the message coming from? Is he a business guy? Is he a is he is he, he's, he's you know he's twenty something year old right? He's living in in his in his bedroom somewhere. Fucking who knows where he's from right? But he's a Satanist man. He's a fucking pagan man, dude. Check this shit out. Fucking damn, right? 666 six, six shit going on, man. This is sick shit, man. Fucking blood drinking Satanist motherfuckers talking about the economy. God damn. So so let's see. What 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 was uh what was he talking about? So he says uh he said that there would quote taxation, she's he's bitching that Alessandra Ocasio Cortez wants to jack up the the tax rate on the rich, the top one tenth of one percent, right? As Bernie Sanders used to say, the top ten, the top one tenth of one percent got all the money, right? The billionaire class, right? Uh, Alessandro Ocasio Cortez is for the people. She wants to jack up the tax on the billionaires, and this guy's this guy's defending it. He says that would necessitate necessitate the creation of brackets that make less than 10 million a year, right? What fucking brackets? What are you talking about? There is no brackets. You jack up the tax rate on the corporations, right? And the, uh, you know, look, th th that's where we differ, right? With Asala, uh, Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez, they, they say rich, but really what it is is a corporate tax because the rich make money on the corporations. That's how they make money, through real estate deals and it's all it's all corporate it's all corporate gain. So if you jack the corporate tax rate up, you deflate the billionaires by default. 
right? This guy's talking about, we're going to hear more about it. I'm going to keep playing more of this bullshit, right? But he's saying, he's saying that's a falsehood. Would necessitate, necessitate the creation of brackets. That's the right-wing Fox News Republican talking point. That if you raise the corporate tax, then that is somehow going to come back on you. No, zero. Zero. Why not knock the, the, the individual tax rate down to zero? When the corporations hold all the money, they got all the money, right? They got all the money, so you don't really need an individual taxation that was invented in 1913, right? Get rid of it, right? But tax the corporations, deflate them, and once they're deflated, sort it out, right? A new deal, an FDR new deal for the American people. Alessandro, so far, Alessandro Ocasio Cortez won. Stick, stick Satanist, Hex and Hammer 666, zero because the girl is for the, for, the, for the people and the dude is behind the fucking billionaires. Damn. So let's see what else he has to say. Clown. Are you suggesting taxing like Apple or Google at 70%? Okay, here's the problem. They already don't pay any taxes because they use tax loopholes and schemes. But guess who can't do that? The regional chain business can't. They'll have to pay a lot more, a lot more in the end. Silicon Valley won't. The biggest income earners in the entire country would be virtually unaffected by this because they can hire armies of lawyers and accountants to get around it. But those other brackets you'd have to create, I guarantee a lot of people in those brackets would be totally screwed. They'd leave the country. So he's making, a, he's making again, the Republican f talking point, the Republican argument that if you tax the corporations at 70%, are you insinuating taxing Apple who doesn't pay tax anyway? And Google, who doesn't pay tax anyway? Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, that's what we're fucking suggesting. Yeah, you tax them. And when they don't pay tax, you throw them in fucking jail. <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah, they have a million accountants and a million lawyers juggling and, and dodging and tax evading. That's what they're doing. They're evading tax by sophisticated, you know, corporate aversion and, and, and tax loopholes and Cayman Islands and, and, and stashing money wherever up their fucking ass, anywhere offshore, right? That's exactly what we're suggesting. So what are you, what are you suggesting, Mr. Hammer, Mr. fucking Satan? What, are you, Satan, what are you suggesting that, that the corporation should just get a free ride on everybody in America's ass? Because that's what it is. You, you understand? That's what it is. Is that they get the free ride on your ass, right? While while the ninety nine percent of the population is paying. Now, Ocasio Cortez is, is pretty clear that it's over ten million. So all of those people you just rattled off the middle, the middle, the mom and pops. Nobody makes fucking ten million dollars. What are you dreaming? And if they did, raise it to twenty million. We're talking about corporations that make billions of dollars, $80 billion, $75 billion, $40 billion. That's who we're talking about. Not fucking the guy in, in, the, in the, you know, the bodega down the corner. How did you miss that? I know if my tax rate were considerably higher than it currently is, and trust me, I'm already subject to a 15% extra uh, added uh, self-employment tax on top of the normal brackets, up to 100k. It's hopefully lower cost than you have, you know, the basic rights of bearing arms, maybe Brazil, maybe Thailand or someplace like that. Let's say, and let's say that uh, she introduces this, goes through, and let's say they properly uh, apply it. Let's say that they actually close all the loopholes that all of the people that own Congress make use of. It's never going to happen, but let's say they do. You know what would happen the next day? Bye, says Tim Cook as he moves to some other country. Bye, says Bezos as he takes Amazon and moves it out of the United States. Bye, says Microsoft. Bill Gates is gone. He sells his mansion to Michael Jackson's children or something. They call it Neverland 2.0. So much wealth would flee from the country that it would certainly be a disaster economically. By the way, merely attempting to implement it would probably break the spine of business confidence and send the, the economy downward. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't plenty of people at the very top that don't pay their fair share, but the thing is, it's not the fault of the brackets. You don't need to change the brackets. In fact, you could cut their tax rate. You simply have to make sure that they're paying that tax rate. 
We don't do that for the biggest corporations. So he does know the answer. He said, we don't do that to corporations. We don't, they, they're in a tax bracket that, that they don't pay tax. They use every loophole in the world. So he does understand it, right? He understands that the corporations don't pay tax, but he's saying that if you do that, go ahead and try and, and the corporations will leave. Tim Cook. Jeff Bezos and 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 uh, and you know fucking Bill Gates are gonna skip down the skip skip out of town holding hands with all the money. No, you dummy. They've already first of all, first of all, they've already left. Right? Right? Why do you why do you want a corporation? Take a step back. Why do you want a corporation that is 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 nothing but a leech? Right? See. The taxation, the, the, the idea was trickle-down economics, right? That they would prosper that $80 billion that Apple just made this year and that that, that profit would somehow rain down on the people in a trickle-down economic fashion, right? But we know that corporations don't do that, right? Instead, what they do is they take that money and they, they dump it offshore. They sit on it. They don't put it back into the to the real economy. No way, no how, not in the future, never in the past, right? It's it's purely fiction, right? So the idea that you want to keep your you see, you're identifying, Mr. Mr. Satan is identifying the problem, which is tax loopholes that corporations don't pay tax. But this guy is saying that. That keep them around anyway and let them suck the blood. Let the billionaires just keep sucking the life out of the American people and the American economy. There's no problem there because if they leave, then they'll stop sucking our blood. Right? Right? And then that money, right, hits the real economy and then you actually have a renaissance. You actually have small businesses starting to prosper again, right? You have the taxation money from these guys. Look, they're not going to, people, corporations are not just going to leave. You're, you're living in a fantasy that they're just going to, they're going to pick up and they're going to move their fucking corporate headquarters to China and, and get away with the same shit they get away with here. They're not going to get away with the same shit. The second they hit, hit the, put their boots on the ground in China, China's going to fucking take all their money. Right? Now they're a Chinese company. right? So uh, it's bullshit. What you're saying is, is classic uh, fucking Bill O'Reilly, you know, fucking Fox News talking points, bro. Fucking Satan, man. This shit is stupid, right? Let's see what else he has to say. And we've got an anti-competitive monopolized system anyway that prevents proper competition. It prevents uh, groups that would be more competitive get strangulated by bureaucracy, by regulations and excessive taxation, while a big corporate monopoly that's already powerful, they're the only ones that can destroy themselves. Pow, again he gets it, right? Monopoly, he said the word, monopoly, right? So, so here's the problem, right? Guys like this... There's, there's some kind of there's some kind of safety that they play that they're they're playing into a, a a community of people that they think need to be appeased rather than tell the truth and say hey by the way Ocasio Cortez the idea of taxing the the top one tenth of one percent corporations and holding them to the tax right if you need a gun do it right? We have guns, right? And, and you hold the corporations to, to, to the tax. Drag Tim Cook up the fucking stairs handcuffed and, and, uh, and, and Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, right? And, and fucking Lloyd Blankfein and the rest of them and the CEO for, for Citi and, and uh, uh, Bank of America and J.P. Morgan Chase. Drag those bastards up the steps handcuffed for tax evasion and watch how fast it changes watch how fast it changes right enforce the law right monopoly you're supporting a system that you're calling monopoly you're saying well it's a monopoly well fuck it there's nothing we could do about it no there is something you can do about it and the fucking kid from the bronx the girl just told you what to do about it and you're fucking skating around the skating around the fucking problem Dude.
It'd be funny, let's say we do have another depression, well then Trump probably gets knocked out in 2020, then the Democrats have to choose who to coronate. Wouldn't it be interesting if it were someone like, like a Bernie Sanders or something, then you get another like New Deal, like FDR era, that'd be quite interesting. And there's the truth, right? Now he said it, the FDR New Deal, see he does know. He does know, right? Because he now knows that the, the, the stock market is, a, is, a, is an illusion, right? It's a Ponzi scheme, it's a bubble. It's a debt bubble that popped. Even Satan can see it, right? And he's saying, and if it does pop, what do we get? We get the New Deal, right? That's what, that's what the American people need, but this guy's saying that's not what, that, that's not what they need, right? Is it, is it Bernie Sanders? I, I don't know, but definitely the idea. Bernie Sanders, the icon, is, is just a name, but the, the concepts that he brought forward and had been working on for 40 years about raising the, the corporate tax rate and such and, and attacking, full frontal attack on the monopoly, the oligarchy, the banking industry and the corporatization, the, the 10,000 publicly traded corporations that don't pay a fucking nickel in tax. That shit's got to end, man. So... I got to give this fight to uh, Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez by default, by just saying the magic number, 70%, raise it to 80. Why 70? Why stop there? Go to 80, right? Raise it to 80%, right? And deflate the corporations. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to worry about, right? Because they're, they're, they're just take, 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 take. It's time they give it back. Marcus Conti reporting.